Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. So glad you could join me for another planner video. I'm here to decorate the cover page in my beautiful mega happy planner, my Franken planner. I always go all out with my cover pages and I like to make them seasonal. So because it's February and because I absolutely love Valentine's Day, I'm a sucker for Valentine's Day. I just love love. Um, I thought it would be really, really cute to make, um, to make a Valentine's Day themed cover page and so I grabbed one of these cover pages from one of my planners and this one is actually from um, a Mickey and Minnie undated vertical classic planner. I picked it because I was inspired by Mickey and Minnie smooching here at the bottom and plus it's relatively neutral outside of that and so I thought it would be great to um, to to use this as kind of like a blank page to decorate so i have a bunch of valentine's day stickers here there's also some Minnie and mickey stickers i want to pull for and i have a bunch of color pencils and um some pens and other you know paper craft and things here for me to go ahead and decorate my cover page i'm gonna write my name out and then I'm going to decorate it uh, with all of these super cute Valentine's Day stickers that I've collected over the years. I also have gem stickers because of course you can't have a cover page without some bling bling. So if you're interested in seeing how I set up my cover page, um, just keep on watching. So when I first did a cover page, like a really fancy cover page, um, it took me like two hours to do. And I've gotten it down to about an hour, but uh, I think I kind of want to do this in like 30 to 40 minutes because, you know, we, we don't have time. <laughs> we don't have that much time today. So let's see how well I can do it in, um, in, in like that time frame. You know, I would be happy with 40 minutes, but let's get down to business. I'm going to go ahead and just speed up the process and then I'll catch you at the end. But I'll stop the video to kind of explain some steps um, here and there. So the first thing I do is I sketch out my name and there's a very distinct style of how I like to sketch out my name. I totally copied this design from some online artists. I just googled, you know, fancy Daniela script. My name is Daniela, so I just wanted to like find some kind of inspiration and I found this gorgeous scripting of the name Daniela and it looked like they used color pencils and I thought that was perfect. So I've been copying that styling ever since, just in different uh, color palettes. And because it's Valentine's Day, we're gonna go with a pink theme. So I'm gonna go ahead and sketch out um, the design of the name in pencil first, and then I'll go ahead and start filling it in with color pencil. I'll outline with black ink. I'll add some white accents with the Sigma Uniball pen to give it a little bit of that 3D glow effect. And then once that's all set up, I'll go ahead and start decorating with stickers. So let's get to it.
Okay, I think I'm happy with how I set this up. Um, I didn't care to be super precise or too caught up in the details. For me, I do these cover pages pretty frequently, and so I have a good repertoire of cover pages, and I don't want to spend a lot of time on them because I kind of shuffle through them so frequently and I'm always inspired to make more and so forth. It's more important for me just to get it done as opposed to getting it perfect because otherwise I, I could be here all day. I'm trying to embrace just completing a task in an allotted amount of time as opposed to just kind of um, getting stuck in the details, getting lost in the details, and spending forever on one thing and then not even finishing it or <laughs> taking like three, four weeks to finish it. So something new that I did this time around, I always color use the color pencils first. I always fill in the letters first um, with color pencil before I outline with pen, but I went ahead and I switched it up this time around and I actually outlined the letters with pen and then I went in and I colored the letters with color pencil. And the reason for that is because I remember being a little bit annoyed with how the pencil markings um, kind of blurred in with the color pencils and kind of you know, messed up the colors a little bit. It wasn't super noticeable, but it was enough to annoy me. And so I decided to kind of uh, switch up the order of things and put down the pen first, erase the pencil markings, and then go ahead and um, color in the letters. And I think that was fine. It's definitely, like, I feel like if I use the color pencils first, it's a little bit more forgiving. Like, I can still kind of uh, color in the letters and, like, reshape the letters as I color them in and as I see fit. If I lay down the pen first, that's it. Like, there's no moving the letters <laughs> from that. And I don't know how I feel about it yet. I'm not sure if I like how I did that, but, um, you know, I'll try it again a few more times before I reach a conclusion on that. And then something else that I did different was um, usually I use this white Signo Uniball pen to kind of give myself the, the highlights um, on the letters, but I've always struggled using this on color pencil. It just doesn't put down ink very well. So I actually just went ahead and I had just picked this up at Michael's recently. This is just a Grumbacher acrylic paint in uh, titanium white. I went ahead with a tiny little pencil brush and I gave myself some of those white glows on the letters and it was so, so much easier. So I'm definitely going to do that um, <laughs> for future cover pages. But that is it. That's the scripting. I'm happy with how it turned out. And now it's time to add some stickers to this cover page. And I am going to use some Mickey and Minnie stickers because I'm so inspired by that sticker right there. I think I'm gonna go with this one right here. Mickey and Minnie just making that little heart with their hands. Me and my boyfriend like doing that um, because he knows how much I love stickers and how much I love Mickey and Minnie. So <laughs> he, um, he like humors me and I'll strike this pose and then he'll strike the Mickey pose. He is such a sweetheart. So let's just put that... You know what? I might have to white this out. Um, just a, a small detail, but um, I think it might just help things. Just so it's not kind of peeking through the, uh, the sticker here. And then I probably could use some of these heart stickers, um, and maybe this little mini envelope. Here's some more heart stickers. So I'll put these to the side for now. But I do want to get into these gems and these Valentine's Day stickers. I have these really cute cloth Valentine's heart stickers, these gem um, Valentine hearts. I have some Valentine stamps. Might put one in the corner. I'm not sure about that. I have just plain uh, red hearts. 
I have some random whole, uh, Valentine's Day stickers from this like pack I got at Michael's a couple years ago. And these are absolutely so cute. These are little bottles and they have like glitter in them. They're very puffy, so I'm not sure about using those, but I'm so tempted. And then lastly, I have little mini pearl gems and clear gems. So let's get into decorating. And actually, I might go ahead and uh, put some of this Valentine's washi down the side here um, and then punch through it. So yeah, let's do that first. And then I think it would be fun to um, put down this little washi tape along the bottom here. This is just a cute little thin heart washi. And I kind of like the idea of putting a stamp up there in the corner. I think that would be super cute. Maybe I like the um, I like the one with the envelopes or the one with the balloons. Okay, I'm gonna go with the one with the balloons. Just here in the corner, like this thing is a letter. I hope it's not crooked. There we go. Cute. All right, so we have that. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and decorate with a bunch of hearts and yeah, so let's put I feel like I can't put too many hearts down or it's gonna look too, too like there's too many hearts. I do want to put like a glitter heart. So tempted to use these stickers. These are like super cute puffy stickers. I could put one maybe like on each side here. So I could put one here and then like one here. Would that be like too like cr too crowded though? Maybe I could put one here. Oh, one of these jars is shedding. Where should this jar go? I'll just pop it down right here. Cute, very cute. And then let's start putting down some bling bling. The aesthetic that I'm going for in this is like the tackiest, elementary Valentine's card that you have ever seen. I'm all about the tackiness. I want to put another one of these, um, <gasps> oh, this one's definitely breaking. Oh, I can't put that one. But I want to put another one of these jars. They're so cute. I love them so much. Maybe I'll put one up here. Hello, cupcake. And then maybe another bling. More bling over here. Maybe another glitter heart over here. And I think we're reaching our maximum capacity with this, with this uh, Valentine's Day card. 
another heart there. And I think we're good. This is already so much that I'm shocked at myself. What if I put some washi tape like underneath my, uh, my name? Would that be too much? I think that might be too much. <laughs> I'm crazy. Okay, let's see. Oh, how about some of these like love script stickers? Maybe like I'll put one there and love. And then I'll put one here too. Love. So cute. And I think I'll just add a couple of more pearls just for some good measure. And I think that's it. I think I'm done. It's turned out so cute. I love it. I love it so much. Uh, this is adorable. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's exactly what I was imagining in my mind. And I'm happy to stick this into my happy planner. My desk is an absolute mess right now. I cannot believe how messy my desk is. I'm gonna have to clear this up. But um, here's my happy planner. And we're just gonna go ahead and stick this into my happy planner. And I love it. It's adorable. It's a bit thick. It's a bit, it's a bit poofy, but um, oh my God, but it's so cute. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, this cover page. This is the first time I've ever decorated a cover page on a camera and it actually wasn't that bad because as I said, it used to take me like two hours to do these things, but I've kind of just gotten better at drawing and uh, shading in and also just gotten better at just going with the flow, not trying to be perfect, just, you know, it is what it is. Whatever comes out, comes out. I'm not trying to make a masterpiece here. I'm just trying to have fun. So so yes, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I really appreciate all of your support. Um, I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Let me know in the comments down below who your Valentine is and what your Valentine's Day's plans are. Uh, I'd love to know. Uh, my Valentine is my boyfriend, Steven. We've been together two years and we're actually in a long distance relationship right now. So for Valentine's Day, um, I'm actually flying out to Austin, Texas to go see him. So if you are from Austin or have been to Austin, definitely please let me know um, what, what I should do out there and what I should check out. All right, everyone, thank you so much for all your support and all of your kind words. I really appreciate each and every one of them and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.